uh, Port Allen, just uh, along from Errol. It's a dead end. Let's head towards the river to Port Allen steering or steering. A nice wee place. So that's Newborough on the distance there across the river too. It's a small town called Newborough. So I'm going to guess this is some kind of building at one point, some house or something, or a boat house maybe, I don't know. But it looks like what's left of the chimney anyway. It's just a stone throw away from the actual, well, Port Allen's just literally there. Just down that path. So this trail's heading towards uh, East going towards Errol and that's just coming from Port Allen. So it goes quite a bit, it's, a, it's obviously a part of the trail network. Nice wee place, good place to visit, nice and quiet, tranquil, plenty of fresh air walks and stuff right by the river. So an art, the Ard Blair Standing Stones. Ard Blair. So it's A R D and then Blair. It's close to Blair Gallery. Yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six standing stones, ancient standing stones, and it's on uh, B nine four seven. 
and that's Blair Gallery up there in the distance. Now what's unusual about them is that they've got this road running right through the centre of these standing stones. I mean, it's pretty nuts, is it? It's right in the middle, the road right in the middle of a set of standing stones. Of that is just, it's just bizarre. There's the other one there. That's your one, the second one, the third one, it's uh, facing north, the fourth one, and the fifth one. Wait a minute, no. Do I need to go back to school? Can I count? <laughs> Wait a minute, that's no. one, two, three, four, five, and that's the sixth one. Art Blair standing stones and then standing right in the middle of the stone circle right in the middle of the road Right, so here I am at this lovely part of Scotland, just outside Blair Gowrie. That's uh, B947, and it's right in the middle of a set of standing stones. And there's a road running right through the centre. <laughs> so I've never heard of these stones before. Art, Art Blair standing stones. I've never heard of them before. And I've never heard of, uh, this is ancient standing stones, so I've never heard of a road running through the centre of it before. So, so that'll be looking towards the uh, south, Sidlaws, going to see you in that. Uh, an ancient stand, standing stone circle, in the middle of the road. Um, yeah, that's the uh, looking south towards Sidlaw House, uh, Blue Gallery up that way. That's looking north to be towards Glenshee. Um, that'll be heading towards uh, Dunkeld, the west area. And that. So this road, if you continue down this road, it'll go to the B. Uh, sorry, this is a B nine four seven. That'll continue onto the join onto the A nine eight four. A nine eight four, I think it is. It's, um, Runs through to the Dunkeld anyway. Um, so yeah, they're, they're sizable stones, like six of them. Uh, there's so many standing stones now in Scotland. Um, for me, it was only like Stonehenge and the ones up at the up the Isles. That was the only ones that I heard of. Um, I never heard of wood hens before, but there's wood hens which isn't far from store hens, stone hens. But there's about oh, probably about a hundred stand, standing stone circles around about Scotland now, uh, which is just bizarre. I mean, where did they come from? I mean, they just arrived. I mean, where did they just appeared? I mean, in the middle of the road as well. Oh, the road. How would they run the road through the centre of this ancient stand, stone circle? It's just. It's bizarre, I mean, so you've got three on that side of the road in the field, and you've got three on the other side. It's a busy road as well. Well, it's only busy because I'm filming, of course. <laughs> Typical. Sword's law. As soon as I go, it'll be quiet. Just like the rain always rains when it's the day off, but never mind. So, 
Yep, let's um, open the press off. So there's lots of them around about Scotland, but this is one near to Dundee where they stay. And there's actually um, some in Dundee as well. They've got the Bargathno Standing Stones, which is on the west of the city. And but yeah, it's quite quite good. It's not really signposted. I mean, had these yellow signs. So if you're going along and you see those, that kind of like marks where the the stones are. But um, it's not really marked very clearly as such. That's the help of Google Maps that got me here. You've got this other marker there as well. That that would help. So when you're coming along, you'll see this. If you're coming towards in west. So. Yeah, quite good that. <laughs> so I thought I'd um, share that with you. Okay. So this is on Kinkel Bridge and it's just on the B8062 And this river here is the River Erin. It's the River Erin.
Hello all. Um, <clears throat> I was actually en route to finding the Mills Hill, Mill Hill's stone circle. Now I thought it was an ancient stone circle and it was on the um, area where in it. Now I followed the uh, Google Maps directions on how to get here. Um, I don't know how clear that's going to show on here. I'll maybe have to focus it in. But unfortunately, there's nothing there as far as I could see, as regarding the stone, an ancient stone circle. Um, now, I wouldn't want anybody getting caught out like I did. Um, I typed in Mills, oh, sorry, Mill Hills Stone Circle on the Google Maps and it direct. It directed me to a kind of like a, a bunch of trees in the middle of a field. So I made the effort to get across there. And I searched it thoroughly. Um, <clears throat> I walked round it, right round the peripheral of it. And I went through it. And I couldn't see anything that resembled a stone circle. So... What I'll do is I'll turn the camera around and I'll try and show you using the, the mobile phone the directions that I put in to get to here. Now when I stopped off at um, the bridge, the uh, Kinkel Bridge, that was on the route to here and that was a nice stopping place. So I'll turn this around and I'll show you on the phone as best as I can with this camera on the, the, what I put in onto Google Maps. No, nope, unfortunately it's not going to show on the camera camcorder either. It's just not going to show clearly enough. It's coming out fuzzy. So, if you, as I say, if you type in Mills Hill, Mill Hill, sorry, Mill Hills, that's M I double L Hills, as one word, Stone Circle. So, if you type that in and you get directed to a clump of trees in the middle of a field, well, if you you won't see anything anyway as far as I'm concerned because there's nothing there. So I'll, I'll actually just show you what the clump of, what it looks like. Um, so if you're googling map, if you're using the Google Maps and the images and you get this image um, or this sort of area, uh, well don't, don't be, I wouldn't fall for it because it's not correct as far as I'm concerned. I didn't. As far as I can tell, I didn't find anything and I searched through that and I haven't found anything. So that's what I'm saying, that's my experience of it. So I'm just going to tell you what I experienced and it's up to you what you want to do. So I'll show you what it looks like, what I found. Right, so this is looking out towards where I thought the stones were. So that clump of trees there. It's sort of like an island in the middle of the field as well, isn't it? Kind of like, yeah, a bit like an island. It's surrounded with fields. It's just right in the middle there, the field. So, if you think you're going to find stones here, and you experience what I did, you won't find anything. And it's this road is heading towards a dead end. Uh, <coughs> and that's sort of like the... You're basically going up to the crossroads. You've got Highland, uh, Highland Bin Lone, which is, if you're heading on the, onto the, if you're driving up the B8062 heading for towards Creef, so you're about four miles before you get to Creef, you'll come at a crossroads. So if you're going to have a turn into the right, uh, Highland Bin Lone, you don't want to be doing that. So when you get to the crossroads, you want to be turning left down this road we are on now. That's the crossroad up there. So you're turning left and it's signposted at a dead end. So you're just basically the crossroads just up there. Uh, you might make out the signs for it. It's just well you saw that where that car just passed is the crossroad. So it's only just a stone throw and you could park part sensibly. Um, so you, you get parked there and you could walk through, there's a wee opening just there. And I walked through, past, right across the field to that island. Which is what the maps, the Google map, 
led me into believing that there was a stone circle there. Um, so when I got there I found, um, I didn't find any stone circles. I didn't find anything in the way of ancient stones. So, it's supposed to be Mill Hills Stone Circle. Nothing there to my finding. That's my finding anyway, I didn't find anything. So, I just thought I'd maybe let you know that and just warn you what I found. Okay. Right, so that wasn't overly disappointing because I stopped off at the uh, Good Kill Bridge. Uh, and that was a nice wee place, that was further down the B8062 um, So you would have saw these photos on the, the video And that was a nice place to visit So it wasn't a waste of time actually I quite enjoyed the drive up to here Even though I didn't get what was payment I'd get At the end of it at least I got a nice drive up So I came off the A9 past the Tippermoor turn off And it was the next turning on the right So if you're heading on the A9 towards Stirling if you just come off the Broxton roundabout of Perth, um, you just go down the A9, you've got the Tippermore turning on the right, what's the next turning on the right, you just follow that road all the way to the Kinkill Bridge, and then you turn right by Kinkill Bridge onto the B8062 heading for Creef, and you're about, just say, uh, four miles short of Creef. You'll come to this crossroad, turn left, there'll be signposted at the dead end. So if you kept going there, it would be a dead end, and you're only, as you say, just a stone throw from that crossroad and you'll get to where in part. So that's what not to do if you want to find a stone circle in there. So if you, because I, I just went on Google, I followed the Google um, route and I didn't find anything. Okay, I thought I'd let you know. Thanks for, well, <laughs> thanks for nothing. <laughs> thanks for watching and uh, hopefully uh, of energy or disappointment. Okay, bye.